struggle. Have you ever wondered why it's a struggle to learn AI or machine learning? Despite so many online courses, tutorials, and resources, mastering machine learning is a challenge for many of us. Believe me, I feel the same. So why is it so hard? Well, I have some answers, but it's got nothing to do with you. Think about this. There are hundreds of people or thousands who feel like ML is a difficult topic. And I can guarantee almost everyone who are now experts in ML went through a difficult period when they first started learning machine learning. I don't think there's anyone who would say that they understood every single topic in machine learning when they first started. And if they are claiming so, then I'm pretty sure they're lying. And I'm sure that you're also struggling with something. So let me know in the comments below what concept that you find to be the most difficult to learn. Or maybe you're just simply struggling to motivate yourself to learn machine learning. And whatever it is, feel free to let me know in the comments section. So here's the very first hurdle that makes us feel like learning machine learning is a real struggle. To properly understand this, let us first go back to the moment that you first heard the term machine learning. I first heard it when I was having a casual conversation with a professor during my PhD. How did you come across this term machine learning? When I first heard about it, I Googled it. And this is the very first time that most of us come across the first major challenge in learning machine learning. Sure, Google has a very simple definition for machine learning, but ML is an entirely separate field. We have to understand that it's like Googling what is chemistry or what is biology. So Google's definition is going to be very concise. Broadly speaking, when it comes to ML, the fundamental principles and concepts are the same, but there are many subfields in ML. So you cannot learn ML in just a few days by taking one online course or one workshop. It takes months to learn and master this field. And recognizing this is the very first hurdle. And when you're taking on the task to learn an entire field, you have to know that some of the subtopics are just not your cup of tea and that is completely okay it's like being a physical chemist like me and i don't know much about organic chemistry sure i know the basics but there are so many in-depth concepts in organic chemistry which i'm not familiar with in some cases the difference can be as big as a neurosurgeon and a dentist so if my head is exploding i cannot go to a dentist well nobody can help me if my head is exploding. But you get the point. Don't think of ML as a skill. It's an entire field on its own. So if you have to master or become an expert in ML, you have to be very picky, but at the same time, you have to be aware that it takes time. That leads me to the second reason why it's a struggle to learn machine learning. We get lost on what to learn next. Let's say you went through the introductory courses and you are familiar with the basics of machine learning. And now do we learn about image processing? Do we learn about some kind of generative AI? Do we learn about LLMs because they are very popular? There's also transformer models. What do we learn? And by the way, these are deep learning models and which is a subfield of artificial intelligence. So. It's very broad. So which subfield do we learn next? This can be a very tricky question to answer because you first need to identify what type of problem that you are trying to solve. But at the same time, you also need to know how these models work. That way you can apply the right kind of model for the problem that you're facing. For example, if you don't know much about large language models, you may not know whether or not it will help you in solving the type of problem that you're facing. Maybe your problem needs Gen AI. But here's the good news. People have already spent time applying these models to real world problems and have a description of how these different models work. So you don't need to learn all of these models in depth before you kind of get an understanding of 
how you can apply these models. So you can use the internet, for example, to learn just the basics or how these models work, kind of like an illustration. That way that gives you an idea of what type of model that you can use for a particular problem. Now tell me, I'm curious to know, do you still see machine learning as a skill or do you see it as an entirely different field? So let me know in the comments. I think if you start seeing it as a field instead of a skill, you will start to overcome most of the struggle when it comes to learning machine learning. For example, the math involved in a particular algorithm can be very complex. And if you see machine learning as an entire field, you will start to notice that concepts in math that you will need is actually a prerequisite and not something that you can skip over. This will help you pay more attention to the mathematics involved instead of just skipping over it entirely. Because believe me, you can build models without really knowing the math behind those models or algorithms. And if you learn the math involved in a particular algorithm, this next struggle will become a lot less burdensome. Which is understanding the complex code that makes the algorithm work. Coding an algorithm can be very complex, especially if you don't know the math behind it. It's like assembling a car. Let's say you ordered all the parts that you need and you don't know what each of these parts do or how they're linked together, but you're trying to put a car up together and you know that that's never gonna happen. And you know what? If you learn the math behind these algorithms, you can overcome another hurdle that is very annoying and that is all the jargon that's out there. There's just so many terminologies and you will learn about these terminologies as you go through the math involved in a particular algorithm. Then there are other struggles that we have to overcome, which is kind of in a way related to all the struggles that we've already talked about. It's the things like, how do I represent my data in the best possible way? As in, how do I featureize it? Or the data set may not be clean, so how do I clean the data set? How do I optimize the model, etc.? All of these come with experience, so be patient as you learn. And the last and the most important challenge that I will touch upon that you will come across is stop comparing yourself to others who have more experience, more ex exposure, and have been learning this for many, many years. If you put in the effort consistently, over time you will become more experienced and more comfortable in talking about AI and machine learning and also building models that you actually need. So which of these are you most struggling with? Let me know in the comments below. And if I missed anything that is really bothering you, just let me know in the comments below and we can all learn from each other. And if you're still deciding whether you should sign up for a workshop or not, there are some pros and cons when it comes to signing up to workshops and learning machine learning through workshops. And you need to know about this, which is why I have this video here for you. Hit the like button so this video can help more people and subscribe to the channel as I'm planning more exciting content for you. Until then, take care. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.